Welcome to Everyday B Coding. This is part 2 of EP Plus Library Beginner Guide. Today we are learning how to apply Excel text and background color using EP Plus Library. So if you are new to this concept, so please watch my previous video before watching this video. Today we are talk about how to apply text and background color in Excel sheet using EP Plus. Let's start this video. Before I start this tutorial, I want to show you how to set the text and background color using Microsoft Excel application. So I just open my Microsoft Excel 2010. Here I am specify the specific region of Excel sheet. After that I am specify text color and after that background color. So how to achieve this using Excel application? So this is the specific reason I want to select for my operation. Okay. This is the specific reason. After that, I am go to the merge option of this Excel sheet. Click merge. Now, the specific reason is already merge. Now, I am typing a text. Text and background color. Now I select the specific text and select the specific text color portion and right now I am select red color. Okay. We can see that the text color is already changed. Now it is red. After that I am select the specific reason. After that I am go to the background color section of Excel sheet application. After that I am select the specific any color. Now I am select light blue color of the specific reason. So that's why I am applying background color and text color using Excel application. Now I am doing exact same things using EP plus .NET application. Okay, let's go to the Visual Studio. Here I am specify the specific reason of Excel sheet. Okay, just copy this code. And paste it right there. In Excel application, I want to specify from row 5 to row 8. Now I am exact same things I am doing in my Visual Studio and to select the specific region of Excel sheet. So I am starting from my work in row 5 and ending with 8. And in Excel sheet, I start my work on second column and that is B and go to the D. So this is this is a second, third and fourth. So now I am specify two to four. Okay. Now I am specify the specific region of Excel sheet. After that I am typing a specific text of the specific region of Excel sheet. Okay. Just remove this previous text. Now I am typing text and background color. Exact same things I am doing using EP Plus library. So obviously this is a merge portion. Obviously range dot merge equals to true. After that we need we don't need this line of code. So we are Read up this line. After that, go to my block. There is a single line that are responsible for applying a text color in Excel sheet. Just copy this line and paste it on my Visual Studio. There is an Excel range object and it has a style of property, font property, color property and set color method is responsible for applying a text color in excel sheet okay the excel style class is indirectly in a read form excel range base class through excel range class obviously the excel range class are in a read form excel range base and excel style class is the property of excel or excel range base so the here is a relationship within this code and this is a font class. Excel font class is the property of Excel style class. That's why we are specifying style.font. 
and as well as the Excel color, there is the color is the property of Excel color class. So color property is nothing but a Excel color class. If I go to the definition of Excel color class, then we can see that the, the color property is the type of Excel color and the property of Excel font class. That's why we are specifying font dot color. After that, this color Excel color class has a set color method. Okay. So just go to the definition and the set color method have accept a color structure object. Okay. Here is the color is nothing but a structure. Okay. And we are assigning the red color of this of the of the structure. So there is a single line of code is responsible for Excel text color. So uh, now uh, now I am uh, run this code. Now I'm go to my computer. Here is my Excel sheet. Now we can see that. There is a specific reason that we are merge using our code. Okay. After that, we are save the color of specific text, but we are not specify any background color right now. To how to save the background color of this specific reason, let's go to the Visual Studio. Now go to my block. There is a simple line of two line of code. I copy this line and pasted my Visual Studio region. So there is a two line of code. In, in between these two line of code, first of all, we are assigned the pattern type. The pattern type are assigned by the Excel field type enum. After that, we are specify the background color and the background color class have a set color method and the set color method accept the color structure object as a parameter okay here we specify the fill property of excel style class so what is the fill property fill property is nothing but a excel fill class here i am right click on the fill property go to definition there is a excel fill class there is a fill object the fill object is the property of excel style class so that's why we are creating this relationship in between a two line. Okay, now I run execute this code and see what happened. Now I go to my G drive. I open my Excel sheet. Now you can see the background color is changed. Now it is green. In 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 our code. We are specifying the structure class and it have a green property. Okay. And result we can see in Excel sheet. So I am creating exact same things as you can see before we are doing it through Excel application. Now we are doing it through in our .NET application using EP plus library. So one important things we need to remember in between a two line we can't set background color without we are specifying pattern type if we are do this we are getting error but this is not a compilation error it is a runtime error if i execute this line then we can get error so there is a system dot argument exception and in, in this exception that can't set color when pattern type is not set. So we must set the color pattern before we set the background color of Excel cell. Now you are execute this application and it's fine and it's built successfully. So in today we will learn how to set the text color, how to set the background color in Excel sheet using EP plus. So you, you can specify the color structure object. You can also specify the HTML color code as a replacement of color structures. Go to my block. 
Here I am specify a one single line of code. In between a single line, we, I can use a color translator class and it has a form HTML method. This form HTML method directly accepts the HTML color code. And the color translator class, the return type of color translator class is the object of color structures. Copy this line of code, go to my Visual Studio and I am specifying the upper portion of this my code and I am using this object as a color. Here am I using the HTML color code is blue hexadecimal code. Now I am copy this code and I am passing this as a set color method parameter. Now I am execute this code. See what happened. Now go to my tree drive. Open it. Now you can see that the background color of the specific region is blue. So there is a three line of code. In between a three line, we are learn how to set the font text color, how to set the background color of Excel sheet. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.